what's up y'all and welcome back to my channel i am just adrian p if you've been here before welcome back i don't know what that was um and if you're new here welcome stay a while um so i'm looking crazy today because i'm doing a new concealer today well it's not new it's just one that i don't often use but um in february it's black history month i am like being intentional about using all of my black owned brands so today we're using um the juvia's place concealer in the shade 11 um and we're actually going to use this to prime our eyelids so today's video is going to be a beginner friendly um eyeshadow look like basically what i started doing um when i started eyeshadow i'm gonna give y'all that look essentially we're only going to use one palette because beginners are not about to have 15 different palettes from prestige brands so it is also going to be affordable okay like i said beginner friendly so our first step is to prime our eyelids now if you are a beginner do not go buy a 20 dollar eyeshadow primer you're going to waste your money because if you're practicing, you're going to be using it, using it, using it. Get an affordable concealer, preferably from a black owned brand. Um, so get you some concealer that's like one to two shades lighter than your skin and pop that on your eyelid because you do not need expensive eyeshadow base when you are learning. It is not a necessity. I'm going to say it one more time for the people in the back. It is not a necessity. Okay. This is how I started. So this is how I'm going to teach you all. Um, so you blend that out. You can blend it out with your, uh, with a, a clean eyeshadow brush or you can blend it out with your foundation brush. I have chosen to use my foundation brush. Um, yep. So that's what we got. So this is what it looks like, a nice clean base, nothing too crazy, not too bright, not too dark. Um, and now we are going to do eyeshadow. So I am going to be using this palette and this palette only. This was one of my first palettes, one of my first Morphe palettes. It is the 25B. So we are going to use this palette. If you don't have this palette, it's perfectly fine. I don't even know if they still make it. However, Something that's simple and just has natural tones is going to be good for beginners. Our first step, step one, transition. So do your transition shade. What is the transition shade? The transition shade is the shade that you're going to put right above your lid that you're going to blend most of your colors into that brings the look together. But we're going to do that first. Your transition shade should be about a shade darker um, or two shades darker than your actual skin tone for a neutral brown look. I'm going to go in with this color because I decided to use this palette. This color brown right here is going to be my transition. Hopefully it's pigmented because if it's not, I don't know what I'm going to tell y'all. So what you want to do is take a fluffy blending brush you can get one for like $4 from Morphe or you can just buy a whole set that's more fiscally responsible in my opinion. Um, and blend from the inside to the outside. You can do padding motions, that's fine. Or you can also do circular motions. Blend, blend, blend. So, we have blended out our um, eyeshadow base and uh, we're going to explain this transition se session or whatever in a minute. I was going to use a Morphe palette, the 25B. It's ashy. We are not doing bad makeup just because we are beginners. So I'm switching to the Patricia Bright collaboration with uh, Revolution makeup. So... I'm going to take this color brown sugar and uh, do my transition over. And I'm just going to pat that in there. <laughs> there was no warmth in that Morphe palette whatsoever. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, sorry, y'all. So our transition is going to be a brown sugar. This palette is also affordable and it's very pretty. Like you even get to dabble in colors. This one's much better for beginners, I think because it gives you that opportunity to play in color, even though like 
you don't want to invest all that money in expensive colorful eyeshadows yet now our transition is done and so what we're going to do is wipe off our brush on a clean towel one that you don't care about preferably um that has seen its last days all right and we're going to take our brush and now we are going to dip deepen our crease and i will be using this color irreplaceable which is a chocolate brown this is like four shades darker than me i don't know three i'm, I'm not good at shading but you go on the outside and you tap Okay, so we're gonna start here. We are tapping the out, outer lid. Make sure you get enough product on your brush. Don't try to go from this eye to this eye with one swipe in the palette. It will not look the same and it will not be good. Don't do it. So pat, this is step two. This is our outer corner. And now, that our outer corner is done, we are going to step three, define the crease. So you don't really need too much product for this because it'll get a little <laughs> haywire. Um, so what you are going to do is take the darker color, the dark brown that you put in your outer V and gently blend it over underneath where you put your transition, okay? And you blend it towards the front. Feel free to go back into your palette, grab more color, whatever. If it looks like this, like your whole lid's covered, that's fine. So this step is optional, but I'm going to do it because I want to show you guys just a simple way to do eyeshadow. And I am going to leave it probably at this step. Maybe. This is what you do. You take that concealer and blot it in the front to reestablish a base. Now, after you blend out this step, you can either apply a shimmer or you can set it with your setting powder and leave it like this. However, I think I'm gonna do a shimmer for today's learning purposes. At this point, you can put whatever color you want on your lid, that is up to you. However, I'm just going to church, so I'm going to use the color shining, 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 yeah. Um, ignore me. Okay, so we're taking the color shining. I don't even know if I'm going to like this color, to be completely honest. And I use my fingers for my shimmers. That is kind of a pro tip. I don't know if it's a pro tip or like a hack, but I use my fingers for my shimmers because I believe that it makes them show up better because the warmth from your skin like really allows the product to like be more malleable and then you can put it wherever you want it boom shining 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 yeah shining yeah and then you repeat so the most important step to me is making sure everything is blended. So you can take this brush and go back into your um, transition shade and blend the top. Like that, like so, like that. So this is kind of like a um, an advanced tip. Um, so when you want to blend two colors, you can just pat slightly over the edges with the color that is right here. So we're taking that darker brown and patting over the edges. Just pat, don't, don't swipe, just pat. Okay, and now you have a more blended product. So here's something that is advanced that I'm not expecting you to do or figure out how to do from this video. We are going to take black and define this outer a little bit more. I like my makeup a little darker in this, so I'm just gonna take this black into just this section right here, this little V section right here. Mm. 
make sure you blend it out with that brown if you are going to deepen that outer corner. As we can see, we kind of look a mess right now, which is perfectly normal. Most eyeshadow doesn't look good until eyeliner, eyelashes, mascara, whatever. Um, but here's a pro tip that you can do to make your eyeshadow look a little bit more seamless um, and more neat. Take your concealer. I prefer a doe foot brush. This is a doe foot brush, how it's like kind of like pointed. And create that wing shape. You can also lay tape down before you do your eyeshadow, but since I do my makeup, um, my base makeup first, that's not um, very effective for me. Okay, and all you need to do is take your black brush or blender, whatever you use. I'm a brush girl. Flat Kabuki is my life. And if you feel like you messed something up, just fix it. Like, nobody is clocking you. Like, it's not, it doesn't need to be perfect. We struggled a little bit in this video. Even I struggle, I'm not perfect. Okay, so next step is going to be eyeliner, which is optional. If you're not comfortable with eyeliner, by all means, do not do it. So actually, I lied. Um, eyeliner is not the next step. I'm not here lying to the people. Um, oops, and dropping stuff. Awkward. So... I do inner corner highlight and to me this is what really brings a look together. Um, so I'm going to take the color and this is the only time I really use a brush on my shimmer. This, this color right here, you are gold. And if I can pick it up because it's like, like creamy almost. I'm going to put that in our inner corner with a little brush like this. And the inner corner highlight just like elevates the look. It takes it to the next level. Ignore my dirty robe. It's obviously makeup, y'all. Don't nobody come for me. So, eyeliner. If you're a beginner, do not buy one this thick. Get a very, very skinny one. One like this. This is just like dried out. This is my Stila liner. Actually, I think it's, it might be dried out. Yes, that is very much dry. Get one that's more like this felt tip preferably because then the hairs won't like fray out or whatever this is a felt tip liner but since i'm doing this for a hot second like i i know how to like get a thin line so brace your elbow like this hold on to it so it's nice and sturdy and you want to start on the inside and i like to line with my eyes open and create that small line across your lid. And my pro tip is like, don't go on top of your eyelid. And all that really means is like, if you have like, where your eyelid meets your lash line, you kind of just want to shove it in that little crease right there. And then we're not doing a wing because wings are not beginner friendly. Boom, one swipe all the way to the end, repeat it on the other side, and then you do your mascara. Okay, so now that our eyeliner is done, it is mascara time. And I don't really currently have a mascara that I love right now, so um we're gonna use this milk mascara so mascara what you want to do is start at the roots and roll to the ends Now, if you know how to put on lashes, because I know there's a handful of girls out there that wear lashes and like, no eye makeup and stuff, throw your lashes on, do that. But I don't wear lashes to church, so we are just gonna go in with a couple coats of mascara. 
because that's just what we're doing today. If you get mascara on your eyelid while it is wet, take the brush and flick it off. It literally comes right off. Um, I don't like this mascara, y'all, and y'all know that, but it is a good separator for my eyelashes, so. boom the eye is done you can get fancy and put it on the bottom don't recommend it because you might make a mess um so i'm gonna do the other eye and then i'm gonna show you guys a more advanced tip for your bottom and then i'll be back okay advanced tip if you can do a little bit more and like you're more comfortable with eyeshadow this is for you when it comes to your bottom eyelid you can put eyeshadow down there um, it's called smoking it out. So we are going to smoke out the bottom. And I smoke my eyelids out a little different. Um, I'm going to put that same brush. I cleaned it off. The one that I put my inner corner with. And I have a lot of lower lashes. So this is kind of hard for me to do sometimes. But I take like the chocolate brown color that I used. And I go in and I drag it along my lower lash line is this necessary no do you need to do it no what does it do <laughs> i don't really know um i guess it just kind of makes it look a little bit more intense so that's really the only pro tip i have for y'all with this it just kind of intensifies what you did up top and so like i'll lay down that chocolate brown color and then i'll take the black which is the shade star girl in this palette and put it on like more like the outer side on the outside and you can look a little bit uh vampire-y if you do a little bit too much but i just wanted y'all to be able to see it um, and then I do my bottom lashes. I literally just like shake. And this is why I don't tend to do this step is because it can make my under eye very heavy. because I do have longer bottom lashes, but if you don't like that, you can um, fully take it off. Anyways, it should look a little something like this. Um, and I'm gonna do my lips and do my outro so I'm not looking crazy. Okay, everybody, so this is how the look came out. I hope that you learned something from the video and that you will try to put um, some of the tips that I gave you into practice. Um, and basically this is the look. I did change my hair, um, and I got dressed for church. Um, but yeah, this is the look. Super simple. I think it's cute. Um, if you guys want more like eyeshadow tutorials and like how to do certain things, let me know in my comment section and I'll be glad to do them, um, for you all. So yeah with that being said be blessed and stay safe thank you for watching my videos um and i will have another one before you know it excuse my lips when i was singing today in church my lip gloss came up anyways bye